All right. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining. Uh, Rob here with uh, Jay and Todd. Hey, guys, how's it going? Doing great. Getting excited. Uh, ready to go for this weekend. Got a bunch of bunch of awesome matches. Can't wait. Dude, does it get any better than this? We're, we're opening up wrestling season uh, about a month early from what it normally starts for high schoolers, right? Yeah, isn't that isn't that great? I'm so excited. Um, <clears throat> Want to real quick? Let's start off. So QCA Clash coming up here Saturday night. Um, two nights from now, actually, uh, in in 48 hours, we're going to be in the Assumption Gym. Kids will be warming up. We're going to be ready to go. But Saturday night, 6 p.m. Assumption High School. Um, tickets are still available online, but there will be uh, walk-in um, tickets available as well. So come on over uh, and 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 join join us uh, at Assumption um, Saturday at 6 p.m. to watch some awesome wrestling. We'll get to that, but really quick first, I want to thank our sponsors for this event. Um, could not do this uh, without them. So um, real quick, thank you to Ray's Barbershop, uh, Tim Hernandez with EXP Realty, Godfather's Pizza, QCA, LNW Betting, um, Brandon's Pub and Grill, GT Sports, and Custom Fit Personal Training. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you, uh, there, again, there, there's a wide range of businesses there. Um, if you need any sort of uh, apparel, any sort of uh, personal training and gym, um, you know, fitness uh, needs, um, need to go grab a beer and a, and a burger. Um, if you need a new mattress, if you want some pizza, if you need a new, um, a new house, or if you need a haircut, we've got you covered, our sponsors uh, for this event. So um, thank you guys very much for that. And we'll talk, I'll mention the sponsors again at the end as well, but um, we, we could not do this event without them. So thank you. Thank you much. So I uh, mentioned the sponsors, big thank you to them guys for getting this going. And hey, uh, Todd, we planned and uh, Rob and I had a chance today to sit down and we tried to figure out ballpark who's going to be the big winner this year, Illinois or Iowa. We ran three different scenarios and guess what? Three different answers. So um, I have no clue who's going to win this. I think it's going to be a big bonus point thing going on. Um, who's going to take the win this, this year or um, the other piece would be just any upsets that we got, but man, this is going to be a close tight, tight match from start to finish. It is for sure. Um, I mean, that's kind of what happens, right? You get the best of the best from both sides and you should have some, some amazing matches. It's probably, uh, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. It's exciting for the kids, but the fans are uh, probably going to be the biggest winners here. This is, uh, this is kind of some matchups that people wanted to see that they, they don't ever get a chance to during the regular season. So it's, it's going to be fun. The duel should be tight. Um, I'm sure it'll be electric out there. So it's uh i'm looking forward to it it's gonna be fun yeah it's gonna right. be hey let me jay let me jump in really fast <clears throat> i mentioned that you can walk up still so walk up at the door um and you can still get in and watch the action if you can't make it we do have another option we're going to be live streaming it on our patreon account so patreon's new um to us but basically it's a it's like a subscription service that you can help support qca wrestle so for four dollars 99 cents you can jump on and you'll be able to live stream the event. You can cancel it. It is four ninety nine a month, but you do not have to. Um, there's no like contract. It's you cancel anytime. So if you just want to jump on to watch this one event, that's totally fine. Four ninety nine, and then cancel the next day. It's up to you. Um, but um, it's a, it's also a way that um, you can just kind of support our cause, support uh, our, our uh, QCA wrestle coverage as well. So um, you'll see links. We'll we'll make sure we post links to that as well. But uh, yeah another like i said come, come and join us if you can if you cannot for five bucks you can jump on patreon and uh and stream it as well so all right jay are we gonna get into the matches absolutely well before we get into the matches rob you mentioned about walk-ins and stuff what schools do we have all coming here and i don't know who's gonna be the big school showing up you know who's gonna be uh rooting on their their people the most that's a good question so uh we already heard of one challenge today right we um, Jay threw out there that he had heard, he heard that Moline's going to have quite a contingent there. So, um, the Montez brothers, their dad, uh, already heard, you know, a little bit of a challenge. Can Geneseo match what Moline's bringing? I don't know. We'll have to find out. And, and what about who else, who else is bringing a big group? I'm sure Bettendorf will have some kids there. North Scott. What, what, what else? What do you think, Todd? Who's going to really show out? 
Well, I would, I hope that, I hope the assumption crew uh, ends up showing up for their, you know, their home event. That'd be exciting to, to see what they can bring. Maybe some super fan and uh, type action, but uh, no, I, I think the Illinois side is going to be, I mean, pretty biased, but it's going to be tough to beat, right? We got, we got a couple Maroons. You got some Maple Leafs on the same team for once. So um, it'll be exciting. It's usually a pretty good duel between them anyway. So now that they're on the same squad, it could get a little rowdy. <laughs> all right. So let challenge out to all high schoolers and all the wrestlers out there. See who's going to be the, the number one school to show up. And uh, let's pack that gym, man. It, we had an exciting meet between Augustana and uh, St. Ambrose last week or this last weekend. Let's let's double that down now, right? Sounds good. Yep. Man. All right. Let's- Let's do it. All right. So what do we got, Rob? Let's talk about our first match matchup of the night. All right. So um, we just did, if, if you're seeing this on Facebook, you might have already seen our uh, the match order. We just announced it earlier today. Um, our first match is going to be a 125 middle school match. Um, Cody Trevino of Bettendorf against um, Orion's Max Purdy. So a couple, a couple of very accomplished middle schoolers. Um, Cody, in the past, he's been a preseason nationals champion. Um, he's a two-time Iowa AU state champion, uh, Iowa USA wrestling triple crown uh, winner. So he won freestyle, folk style, and Greco all in the same year, won at least once. So um, got a stud. He, he, he's tough. Yeah. What do you got on tough. the Illinois side, Todd? Yeah. No. You know what? Uh, Purdy from Orion, he, he's got some pretty uh, solid credentials of his own. I'm pretty excited about having him on the, on the squad. Um, he won Rocky mountain nationals. He's uh, an iron elite champ and grand river rumble um, MVP of the uh, division. So he's, uh, he, he's up for the challenge. He's, he knows, obviously he's got his hands full. We got a tough comp, some tough competition, but um, I think, uh, I think he, he's going to handle himself well. Yeah, I agree. So it should be, it'll be a good one. Looking forward to a really awesome way to kick off the event. All right. Our second match of the evening will be a 152 pound bout between Pleasant Valley's Jack Miller represented Iowa and on the Illinois side, Rock Island's Ouchie Bernard. So, uh, Todd, why don't you lead off? What do you know about, uh, Mr. Bernard? Yeah, this one's going to have some fireworks. I think there's uh there's going to be some um, definitely some some fur flying in this one. We have a state qualifier, 2020 state place winner in 21. So it's uh he he's electric. He'll be out there, and I know um I know neither one of them are afraid to uh you know ooh the crowd. So we'll see how this one goes. I think this is going to be an exciting uh, high scoring match. Um, Obviously, uh, we we know we know Jack Miller. I'll let you talk about him. But either either side, I don't think is afraid to. Uh, this one could have a little upper body action. Okay, yeah, I might see a little bit of feet in the air. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, so Jack Miller uh, entering his junior year, his sophomore year, uh, could call it a little bit of a coming out party. He was a MAC champ, um, state qualifier, and then he followed it up with uh, being a Fargo qualifier this summer as well. So. Yeah, looking forward. Match number two, I don't believe this one's going to disappoint either. We're, we're up for a we're up for a heck of a good night of wrestling, that's for sure. Yeah, I, match number two there, man, we're going to see the fireworks just going right off the bat. So, uh, hope our fans are ready because it's going to be happening right off the bat. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. All right, bout three, 118-pound uh, match, uh, West, Downport West, Aiden Nicholas against Illinois' uh, Zachary uh, Montez from Geneseo. So that'll, that's an interesting one. It'll be a, so, a senior against a freshman. Um, Aiden Nicholas is a, uh, he's a returning MAC champion, district champion, state qualifier on the Iowa side. And uh, Montez being a freshman, I don't think he's going to be intimidated, though. I see his credentials, Todd. What do you know about Zach Montez? Yeah, no, he's a, He's a seasoned vet. He's just just being a freshman. He doesn't wrestle like a freshman, so I'm not wor- not worried at all about that. Um, been in big matches, obviously. Been in big situations. Following his uh, his older brother around, he kind of he gets what's going on. So he's uh, he's he's been around the Midwest. He's been around, you know, traveled enough to where I don't think he'll be too intimidated by the matchup. Obviously, um, we're hoping 
hoping that the he doesn't get nervous there. Wrestling is pretty much his first ever high school match. So um, pretty excited to that he can say that his first high school match was with us. Two good matches, uh, two good wrestlers there. So I'm excited to see that one as well. Um, what we're talking over on the Montez, uh, like you guys mentioned, the kid is battle tested. So uh, he is not going to be your typical freshman coming into that match. Definitely not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the next bout then, our fourth match, uh, we did something a little interesting. So my son is Bradley Hill um, from Bettendorf. He's, he'll represent Team Iowa on this one. And, J and Jeremiah Morris from Illinois um, is uh, a Galesburg uh, wrestler. So the interesting thing here, Todd and Jay, is that um, since we got to decide the match order, these guys are used to wrestling last, right? Like, set, or they're both 220s, so second to last. Here, we we're like, hey, you know what? This is our event. Let's have some fun. Let's let the big guys wrestle early on. So it'll be fun. It'll be fun for them. They can get their match done early and then enjoy the rest of the night. Yeah, I, uh, you know, keep the concession stands open, right? Like, <laughs> like let, let, the, big guys, let the big guys go early and then they can they can eat eat as much as they want throughout the night. Yep, yep, definitely, yeah, definitely. The big guys never get to see the concession stand open, so this will be new for them. Exactly. Well, we'll have to bring them both a hot dog after the match. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, quick, quick run through. Um, Bradley Hill, a uh, couple time place winner, one state in Iowa last year. Um, currently ranked number five nationally by Flow Wrestling. He, he's a really good wrestler. He's committed to wrestle at the University of Iowa, but probably similar to uh, Jeremiah, just getting done with football. So, we'll see. I'll say it because he's my son. I probably won't say about anyone else, but we'll see what kind of shape he's in. You know, see if he's ready to wrestle or not. It, just, uh, just coming off football. Yeah. Um. Obviously, I think you're. You, you might be being a little, uh, laying back a little bit there. He's an amazing kid. He, he's he's a top top kid in the country, which is, um, like like you mentioned, but not only not only. He has a great family, great kid. So good for you guys. We're all, it's exciting to have him. We got on our side, Jeremiah Morris from Galesburg state qualifier um, from Galesburg. He did, um, did just get done with football, but he says, you know, he showed up to practice on, on Tuesday. He's, he's ready to get in there and, and grind a little bit here, get some, get some lungs under him, hopefully quickly. And uh, and go out there and, and hopefully I and I think he'll give uh, give Hill everything he wants. So we'll see. Um, obviously, he knows he's up against a tough task, but you know it's wrestling. That's why we wrestle the matches. Yep. Kudos to him. Um, you know Bradley Hill, he's a monster. But you know what Jeremiah said? Bring it on. I'm you know I'm not backing down from anyone, and that's going to be an, another fun match to watch. Yep, Absolutely. yep, you bet. And then and then they can hit up the concession stand right after. <laughs> that's right. That's that's well played. Yes. All right. Next match, match five. Um 135 uh pound match between Jace Luna of Bettendorf and, and uh Riverdale's Brock Smith. So another another good one coming here. Uh Luna, uh sophomore, had a ton of success, like a lot of these guys did on the youth circuit. Um I didn't realize this, uh, but he was a seven-time district champ in, in, in youth, so he didn't lose much um, in, the, in the district anyway, locally here in Iowa. Um, Two-time AAU state runner-up, uh, five-time place winner in, in, in the youth division. And, but last year, what matters more, right, is, is what are you doing now that you're in high school? And as a freshman, he just went out and placed seventh in a pretty tough uh, state bracket. So good start to his high school career. Yes, yes. We uh, we know Jace. We've known him for a while. He's he's always been at the top um, top tier of his division. So definitely looking forward to this one. We got a stud on our side also. So this one this is definitely a match that I've, I'm kind of looking forward to. Brock Smith from Riverdale, junior, uh, fifth is IHSA state tournament as a freshman. Chose not to do the um, IWCOA last year, but. Um, he, he did uh, qualify for Fargo, and he actually made the uh, dual team for Team Illinois. So he's he's all about it. He he trains um, trains nonstop. So it's not something. It's not a, a you know a three four month season for him. It, it's 11, 12 month season. So it's going to be pretty exciting. I think this is going to be 
it could be one of the best matchups of the night. I, I'm pretty excited about this one. I feel um, this one could seriously go into overtime. I agree with you, Todd. I think this could be a great match. You know, uh, Jace Luna had a great season last year coming out as a freshman in Iowa. Uh, but Brock, man, that kid is a monster on top. You know, if you let him on top, he's going to start working them arms and wings and, and uh, you're going to be in a world of hurt. So both guys, amazing wrestlers. Uh, I agree with you. I think we could be seeing a little extra time with them. I hope their lungs are ready. It's going to be the test right there. Yep, yep. So, uh, all right, next match, 126. Uh, it'll be between Wilton's Brody Brisker and uh, Moline's Alex Schmacht. So another good one here. Uh, Brody um, entering his sophomore year, took fourth place as a freshman, which is pretty darn impressive in Iowa. Um, he was also the Iowa uh, Free South State champ and, and represented in Fargo as well. Yeah, awesome. And another another thing with that is, you know, he kind of took this on a little bit shorter notice than, than expected. So, you know, great job for him to step up and and bring on bring on uh, senior Alex Schmock from Moline, uh, IWCOA state qualifier, lost in the blood round, heartbreaking loss um, to one of the kids he trains with. But Overall, um, he's right there. Probably should have been, you know, on the podium, and it just didn't work out. So he's been training hard ever since then, and, and ready to ready to get back on, ready for the season. That way, he can uh, reach that podium. Like you guys said, man, another great match. We're gonna follow up. Schmack, man, that kid just keeps coming to us. He goes, "Give me someone. I don't care. I want to wrestle someone, Dad." And we said, "All right, we'll find someone for you." Um, the kid's an, a beast, just keeps coming after you, keeps coming after you. Amazing wrestler. Now, Brisker, anyone in, in Iowa knows the Brisker last name. I mean, they just keep pounding out kids, wrestlers. I mean, I don't. I think they've been going the 20 years about with uh, the Brisker name, just uh, studs coming out of Wilton. So it's going to be exciting over there. Like you mentioned, uh, last second, you know, we called him up. And we said, hey, can you fill a spot? And he goes, I'm there. So, I mean – Another, just that wrestling mentality, man. Just, hey, if you got a match, I'm going to step up. I want it. Next up at uh, 195 pounds, uh, we, we'll have another fun one. Iowa has uh, Kate Sheedy from Davenport North. And on the Illinois side, it'll be Steven Marquez from Rock Island. So um, Kate Sheedy plays eighth uh, last year at state, and, and he's a stud football player as well. I haven't heard for sure um, what he's going to do uh, – as far as college goes, but it, I'm, I'm going to guess he's going to be a football player. I, we'll have to ask him when we see him soon, but, uh, but yeah, tough kid at, at 195 pounds for Iowa and he's got a tough one uh, from Illinois. Yeah. Uh, Steven Marquez from rock Island. Um, tough kid. Didn't get to do a whole much in the uh, season last year. Um, being, being in Illinois with COVID and things like that. He, uh, He's probably a double sport athlete. I'm not sure exactly why he didn't uh, participate with the the team and anything like that. But he comes into the comes into the IWCO COA postseason and just blows everybody up and wins it. So IWCOA uh, fresh soft state champ. Um, pretty excited about um, uh, having this one. He's uh, he's another one. I don't want to give too much away, but he's not he's not afraid to let it loose. Uh. I see this match is going to be a good one, man. Two big horses, man. I think anyone would like to have these 195 pounders in their stable. Uh, they're going to just improve whoever's program they're at. Um, incredible uh, athletes, uh, multi uh, uh, athletes in different sports and just strong guys. And it's going to be an exciting match. So hold on. So uh, real quick, before we go on to the next, uh, talk about the next match. Um, we had a couple injuries leading up to the event. Um, as, as uh, you guys mentioned, Brody Brisker was, was willing to jump in and help us, uh, you know, fill a, fill a gap and it's going to be darn good, uh, you know, competitor there. Um, and then uh, Jason Luna did as well, but a couple guys we, we had planned, we would have seen um, if it wasn't for injuries and we want to wish them the best in their recovery. Um, Royce Butt um, from DeWitt, Derek Bass from Assumption and Eric Kincaid from Command. So uh, they, they all probably know this anyway, but we wish the best to you guys. Quick recovery and hope, hope to see you back on the mat um, as soon as possible. So, okay, enough for enough of the somberness. Let's get back to the fun, guys. Uh, 106 uh, girls match coming up now. Match number eight, right? Kind of right that uh, dab it smack in the middle. 
Um, Jada Lynn Daly from West is going to take on Rebecca Ferguson from Rock Island. So um, I got to see uh, Jada Lynn a little bit last year. She got fifth place at the AAU State uh, Girls Tournament and then um, also placed eighth at the IWCOA Girls Tournament um, that Jay and I got to go see in the uh, Extreme Arena in Coralville last year. That was a lot of fun. So Jay, Jada Lynn's a tough, a tough uh, wrestler, but she's got a tough one coming at her too, right? Rebecca Ferguson. Yeah, Ferguson, seasoned senior, you know, from Rock Island. Uh, we have she's a two-time IWCOA sectional finalist. She's an AAU girl state champ and a preseason nationals finalist. Um, ben definitely travels. I know um, they they've been all over the country with that with that team or from different teams uh, and and just being exposed into these tough situations. So. I'm hoping that the experience kind of, um, you know, hopefully you know, works in our advantage here, being a senior over a sophomore. We'll see how that goes. Well, but uh, obviously both season. Yeah. Uh, my take on this, it, it's after going last year to the girl uh, women's state, uh, hold on people. These girls scrap and they scrap hard. They'll be best friends after the match, but when they go at it, hold on to your seat because it's, it's going to be a lot of fur flying and a lot of exciting wrestling going on. I'm not even going to think about calling the winner on this one. It's just going to be a fun event. Uh, sit back and enjoy that one. Yep. Yep. I agree. So, okay. Next, next up, uh, 142. A couple of these matches you may notice we did sort of like a catch weight type thing. We wanted to make sure kids weren't cutting too much weight. It's preseason. We we're, we're not big advocates of cutting weight anyway, but, um, for, for this event, we wanted to try to just get kids as close as possible. So 142 is the weight class here um, for Iowa. Um, assumptions Michael Macias will take the mat. And he's got a tough one ahead of him, so he's going to take on Moline's Noah Tapia. Um, real quick on Michael uh, Macias, he's a two-time state place winner. He was MAC champion, uh, two-time sectional and district champ as well. So he's a tough customer. Yeah, credentials wise, I want to say this one's got to be uh, up there towards the top. We have Noah Tapia, junior from Moline, uh, state champ last year in 3A, double Fargo All American, currently ranked number one um, in the state in Illinois. So um, they they're very familiar with each other. It it should be a I think it'll be another high scoring match. I don't think this is going to be one where they sit around and feel each other out. They they've wrestled enough where um, now now that it's on the spotlight. Let's let's see who's really got it. Going to be another exciting match there. Uh, Tapia totally transformed his body in the last year and a half. I mean, went from a, a, a small little 106, 113 pounder into just a beast right now. Uh, wrestling at top of his game, doing doing great. To, uh, all American and Greco and freestyle and uh, doubling up with a state champion as well. So uh, I'm, I'm expecting him to go into national rankings soon, but man, never count out Macias. That kid steps up his game when the lights uh, shine down on that mat. Uh, he could, he just takes it to another level. So another good match coming your way. Yes, sir. Okay. Next up a uh, 110 pound uh, matchup between uh, Bettner's TJ Kester and uh, in Alleman's uh, Dalton Nimrick. So this is another freshman versus senior situation, but but similar to the last one, the freshman coming in is tough. Um, TJ was a USA national uh, freestyle champ, place winner in Greco. Um, he was on the Iowa freestyle and Greco dual team uh, this past summer. And just last weekend, he placed fourth at preseason nationals. So he comes in ready to go. Yeah, Illinois side, like I said, we like you had mentioned, we got uh, another senior on our hands, um, Dalton Nimrick from Alleman. Um, he was a uh, first team all Metro last season, sectional qualifier, um, put in a lot of work this this off season to get a little bit stronger, a little bit bigger. So we're we're hoping that um, obviously the the experience in uh, in the high school wrestling um, that they, they've done is is going to kind of tip that one towards Illinois. Going to be another good one, guys. Uh, TJ out of Iowa. Kid is, uh, once again, battle tested. He understands. I saw him at uh, Custom Fit lifting uh, a couple months ago. He is putting up some serious weight. So he may not look that big, but the kid's got some guns on him and, and hidden strength. But you know what? Go over to Nimrick. Uh, there's a senior battle tested as well. Um, 
is TJ going to be able to handle that senior strength? Because there is a difference in body structure uh, between a freshman and a senior. So it's going to be fun. Let's see what the skill versus uh, strength and technique, which way it goes. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're getting close to the end. Only four matches to go. But, man, there are four uh, that, that – I mean, I'm excited for every single one of them. But, but yeah, these four certainly won't let us down. Um, next up, 152, uh, North Scott's Peyton Westlin is going to take on uh, Geneseo's Anthony Montez. So here are another couple stud uh, stud wrestlers. Uh, Peyton uh, Westlin's a two-time MAC champ, uh, two-time place winner, got fourth at state uh, the last two years in a row. So he's – He's entering his, uh, his senior year with a lot of confidence and ready to go. But like we said about uh, most of these guys, Anthony Montez is tough. Yeah, uh, obviously the older brother of Zachary, they've, uh, he, he's, been, he's been wrestling uh, forever. So Anthony Montez, Geneseo, three-time state qualifier, one-time state place winner, took fourth last year. Um, he's another one of those, um, kids that have just, has just continued to grow and grow. He was down there at 103, 100 or 106, 100, I'm aging myself here, 103, 106, 113 pounds, um, at the beginning of his career now, all the way up to about 152, 160. So, um, definitely looking forward to this. Once again, another, another pair of uh, wrestlers that are very familiar with each other. So, they're going to get out there. They're going to probably get after it right away. There's not going to be any feeling each other out on this one. Yeah. yeah. Like you said, Todd, I don't think there'll be any feeling each other. They know each other. They've been, uh, they're both young guns, right? They've been uh, rolling. I think, I think I've been following these two since they're like in fourth grade. So these two are monsters. Uh, if you want to learn some good technique, you want to learn what uh, the next level wrestling is uh, bring your kids to this one. Cause it's getting exciting. And like Rob said, Every match from here on out, we're amping it right now. Another level, another level. These two have wrestled each other a couple times in the past. Um, it's going to be exciting to see how this one washes out. All right. Next up, next up, uh, 120. Um, Iowa's got Trace Gephardt from North Scott. And uh, Illinois is going to have Gage Ship from Galesburg. So uh, Gephardt, uh, Trace, uh, the Lancer, um, is a two-time state qualifier and, uh, and placed fifth last year at state. He's also won. Uh, he's won the MAC championship, the conference title twice. So, tough kid. Yeah, he he is a uh, great kid too. Uh, Trace is a great kid. Gage, um, once again, two guys that are familiar with each other. Um, uh, three time, obviously, state qualifier. But being a sophomore, those were those were obviously when they was younger. He's an IESA state champion. Came in as a freshman this year or last year, and kind of just ran through almost everybody the entire season um ended up placing third at the iwcoa state tournament as a freshman um he's fun to watch he's he's a little uh um i want to say he wrestles his own style let's just put it that way he he's got he's got some tricks up his sleeve and, and this one will be fun it's, it's gonna have to be one of those ones where i definitely think gepkart is gonna be um probably more more in your face but uh ship you, you gotta be you gotta watch out he, he's got some tricks like i said and if if you get in trouble he's a pinner gonna be exciting like todd said uh boy these two know each other um and you know what i'm gonna call this the showtime match uh these two know how to work the crowd play the crowd and it's gonna be exciting uh to start to finish uh on that match like i said uh, or like todd said uh they know each other um who knows? Who, who comes up with a greater game, game plan that day is going to be the winner. Yep. All right. Next one, 160. We have uh, – Iowa's going to have Alan Couture of Assumption, and uh, Illinois is going to have Drew Keystead of Sterling. This was an interesting one, so this will be another awesome match. When we first kind of hatched the idea of the QCA clash, we the debate was who's going to get Alan, right? Like, is he going to be Iowa? Is he going to be Illinois? He started his career at Orion. Um, now he's over at, uh, at Assumption, and, and we're happy to have him on the, uh, on the Iowa side. Uh, Allen's a two-time state place winner. Uh, he got fifth in Illinois and then came over to, to uh, through COVID, right? Through COVID, Illinois was shut down, and, uh, and, and, he, and he came over to Assumption and got third last year. Um, only loss um, at state was to uh, Hayden Taylor of uh, Solon, who's, uh, who's going to go for his fourth title this year, so it's certainly no slouch. Um, 
there. Um, and then Alan did go to Fargo. He, he also wrestled for Team Iowa and Fargo this, this past summer. Or Team Illinois, probably. Do you remember, Todd? He was Illinois, wasn't he, for Fargo? Yeah. Sad, sad, sad day for me, but that's okay. That's okay. We got uh we got another one that just goes to show you, obviously, some of the depth of the, of the quad cities. Like we've had some kids that got hurt, and we have multiple state place winning kids like filling in on the Iowa side. Um, we have another one right here, Drew Kested, who, um, even though we weren't sure which way Couture was gonna go, we're like, well, hey, we got a great matchup. If we put Couture over on the Iowa side, it's fine. We have uh, Drew Kested, who three time um, three or. or Two time, three time, two A sectional qualifier, placed fifth last year in the IWCOA um, tournament. Actually, um, wrestled has wrestled Montez a bunch from Geneseo. So, then it's always tight. It's overtime, back and forth. So, very, very good athlete. I think he plays quarterback and linebacker for his football team. So, if this will be a, a fun match, um, we miss Allen. We wish we had Alan also, but this is going to be a good one for the fans. Uh, yeah, I don't even know how to follow up after that, Todd. Um, <laughs> uh, going to be a great match, like you said. Uh, Drew's uh, one tough dog, man. I got to actually watch him compete last year. Uh, really impressed, man. He's going to go, go, go after you. You better have a, a big gas tank because he's going to take you in deep waters and see what's going to happen. Now, Alan Couture, I call him my uh, Clark Ken of the, of the wrestling world, man. He comes in there with his glasses and really studious, nice, quiet, you know, soft-spoken. But uh, so, as soon as he toes that line, uh, you better be ready because uh, the cape comes out and the Superman uh, chest plate comes on. There you go. There you go. Clark Ken, if you if you see him before the clash, he might have his, uh, he might have his glasses on. And that's a good – hey, you're right. All right, and finally, uh, to close the night, uh, kind of our marquee match here, we've got state champ versus state champ. Um, on the Iowa side, Bettendorf's Dustin Bourne is going to come out and take on Illinois, um, is going to bring Cole Brower of Moline. So, uh, Dustin, three-time state, state place winner, uh, state champ last year, watched him in Fargo, uh, this past summer as well. Like, like, just like how we've talked a lot, um, about a lot of these other matches, Dustin and Cole know each other very well. So this is going to be a great one. Yeah, this will be fun. These two have pretty much grown up, um grown up together and i know they were probably never at the same weight class and then dustin decided to go get go get monstrous on us all so this one will be fun cole brower state champ last year fargo all-american national showcase champion where i think he took out five other state champions during that that run he's currently ranked number seven and 17th in the country by flow and uh congratulations to cole he just uh just got committed to the university of Illinois, right? University of Illinois. So this will be, he'll be representing uh, not only the state, but his university. I love it, man. Uh, how else can we build it up? I mean, this is like the, the finale, the top, the cherry on the ice cream, right? So like you guys said, have grown up together. They know each other. They know what's going to be, each other's going to be bringing. Um, you know, we got Warren, the assassin versus Kid Dynamite over in Illinois. Uh, how else can how else can you finish this uh, this duel any better? So uh, excellent matches. I look forward to seeing uh, all these wrestlers. Look forward to seeing their families. Yep, yep. It's going to be an amazing night of wrestling. Uh, so kind of a fun thing, and you guys probably know this too. You've been around wrestling, obviously, in the Quad Cities for a long time, but it didn't really occur to me. So I know they used to have something like this where they do an Iowa versus Illinois duel. Um, in the postseason, but I believe, at least according to Don't Hassle Us, We're Locals, Jay Foster, um, he threw an article together about the event. I think this is the first preseason event that, that has ever been um, for Iowa versus Illinois here in the Quad Cities. So pretty awesome, kind of a historic night. And, and uh, I, think the, I think the wrestlers are all ready to put on a show. That's for sure. Yeah, I think I we know. got the right there, group of wrestlers. Just... I think we got the right uh, coaches and uh, – these kids come from uh, solid programs, every one of them. So, I mean, if you got a young wrestler at home and you want to say, you know, they want to make it to that next level, you bring them out there and you show them what these, uh, what these studs are doing, you know. Not all are probably going to go on to wrestle collegiately, but um, every one of them are some of the top caliber wrestling we got in the Quad Cities from both Illinois and Iowa. 
they represent their uh, family, their team well, not only on the mat, but off the mat. So um, every one of these kids, uh, I think any coach would be happy to have them in their, in their, uh, in their room. Yeah. I mean, ever since this has been announced, we've, uh, we've, we've had buzz going throughout the quad cities. So I'm pretty excited to the fact that kids have been training for this. We've had past kids that have been saying, Hey, I would, I wish I would have been part of this. And I, we wish we would have started this years ago. We got few kids that are coming up and saying, I can't wait to be part of this and everything. So I think this is going to be something awesome for, um, a while to come here and then the fact of the matter is is we know we're going to get the best of the best it's always going to be a great show so i'm excited i'm i'm actually i'm ready i'm ready wish it was saturday now yeah it's like uh you're a kid kind of like a kid at christmas time right like how, how the heck do you sleep two more nights before uh before we get this awesome this awesome action going um Anyway, let's do this. Let's do another quick thank you to our sponsors. Um, again, this this event couldn't occur without them. Could not happen. So Custom Fit Personal Training in Bettendorf. Um, Tim Hernandez with EXP Realty. L&W Bedding. Brandon's uh, Pub and Grill. Godfather's Pizza QCA. Ray's Barbershop. And GT Sports. So thank you guys so much um, for your sponsorship. We really appreciate it. Again, we this thing this thing couldn't happen without, without the, their support. So... Very important. We appreciate it. Um, before we go, any any closing uh, thoughts, guys? Uh, go Illini, right? I mean, that's what we gotta say. Go Illinois. Here, uh, I think I I um, hope I hope that the show's amazing. Obviously, for for the fans and everything. I mean, I know our fans. I think we're already gonna win the fan battle. I just even though it's in the Iowa territory, we're coming. We're bringing groups of people to support our our, our studs, so um, I'm not too worried about winning that battle. The, the the dual meet will take care of itself, but the main thing is that these kids, it's just going to be some great matches. Um, the fans are going to win the win are the winners. So um, overall, look forward to some great wrestling. Um, should be some should be a great time. I don't have a dog in this fight this year, so I'm going to stay neutral, guys. Excellent matches, both Iowa, Illinois. I have no clue who's going to win this uh, duel. It's going to be a fight to the very end. Uh, we're going to see a lot of you know scrapping, fur flying this uh, this night. We're going to see a lot of great coaches uh, there. We're going to uh, also see some past coaches. I mean, I don't think we mentioned that Matt Taney is going to be a uh, uh, corner in uh, uh, the Iowa side, and we got Kevin Brower is going to be coaching uh, the honorary coach on the Illinois side. Two incredible guys. I'm sure you're going to see. Uh, a lot of other, uh, some old Iowa wrestlers there. We're going to see some college coaches there too. And it's just going to be a blast. Like Todd said, you know, let's see who's going to be the school that steps up and brings the most fans in there and how rowdy can we make this? Cause, uh, man, the, the, the energy that these kids are going to bring back to the fans, they got to just kick that back to them. And, and we're going to see incredible things at night. Yep. Yep. I couldn't agree more guys. So since Todd said, go Illini, I'll have to say, go but go Hawks, go Iowa. Uh, I we, we, we're both obviously. Uh, I'm from Iowa. Todd's from Illinois. Jay's from Iowa too, even though he's he's pretending that he's uh, neutral. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> you see it, Russell, baby. There you go. There you go. Uh, so the so like uh, like you guys mentioned, there's gonna be a lot of people there. There's gonna be a lot of college coaches there as well. Um, the, the main purpose of QCA wrestle to begin with and, and it remains the purpose now is is just getting exposure for our local wrestling so um that's what this is going to do um we want as many college coaches there as possible we want the uh, to help have a small little bit of uh of uh a part in in helping getting some of these kids on the mats and uh if they want to wrestle in college let, you know helping them as much as we can you know get that get those opportunities those are those are really the, the main purposes behind qca wrestle so that's what that's what we're trying to do with this event. I think it's going to, I think it's going to go well, but um, Saturday night, two nights from now, um, we've been talking almost an hour guys, five, basically five minutes short of 6 PM right now. Um, and it'll be basically 48 hours till uh, first whistle. So almost there. So looking forward to it. Yep. Yep. Come see us. Come see us Saturday night, 6 PM assumption high school. If you can't make it jump on our Patreon five bucks cheap super cheap uh that's uh 
an easy way to watch the uh, stream from from home or wherever you are. So, guys, thank you for your time. It's fun talking a little bit of wrestling. Forty hours from now, forty eight hours from now, we get to go. Let's go. Go Kishi wrestle. <laughs>